YouTube, this is Nathan Great Nate here with my first ever deck list. Um, yeah, I came to stumble upon Dark Simor Ninja Lockdown with the anti spells and the Dark Simors and all the good stuff for ninjas. So, um, yeah, I've really come to like this deck and I think I should do a deck list. Because I want to improve this deck so I can actually be serious about using it like in regionals and stuff. Um, so, yeah, any criticism, constructive criticism, of course, not like negative feedback is appreciated. So, let's get started. We got two Simorgs. Right there. Two Dark Simorgs. That's self explanatory. That's like necessary for the lockdown, anyway. Uh, three Hanzo. Really great searcher, special summon or normal summon. Either way, you get a plus. It's really good. Uh, I'm running double upstart because when I run three, I find that, you know, it's just too much. Like, it's a good searcher and everything for, you know, the X seeds, like the blade armor and stuff, but I don't really think it's really good enough to have it in three. Two Ninja Abisu. This guy is really good actually for you know the back row return you read his effect is actually really really good and you can get him with upstart and that's an automatic two back row return and you can just go for blade armor and it's another win for dark simor which is really good i like this guy ninja grandmaster sasuke i only have him at one because he's like another upstart he's like my third upstart basically um He's good because he gets rid of reapers and walls that you would normally not get rid of with your other ninjas. Yeah, um, this might be a weird addition, but I have Doom Cows. I find that with Doom Cows, when you have Dark Simorg out, you want as much effect negation dealing with monsters as possible. So you go Dark Simorg, you have the lockdown and everything, and you summon Doom Cow. It's like 1900 and basically it just baits out all of your opponent's effects and Dark Sim works safe. Uh, Self-explanatory. Tour guides. Duh. They're just really good. They get Most of the time I go for Levier. I'll explain why I go for Levier in a second. And Night of Salem, just another target for tour guide. This is one of my debatable choices. Dark Arm. I find that he is really good when you have the Darks in the graveyard to use him. And most of the time you will because of the fact that, you know, you detach a lot and you go with Hanzo a lot and then you got Tour Guide at the same time. So it's really easy to manipulate your darts in the graveyard. So Dark Armed, I, I, I think it's a neat addition, but I might, you know, I might take him out for another, something more important than BLS, of course. That's just self-explanatory. He changes so many games, it's not even funny. And he, I mean, the, we have the upstarts for the lights got the Sasuke and we got all the darks so he's really good um, now for the spell lineup also might be a weird addition but I got dimensional fissures the reason I have dimensional fissures in the deck is because it doesn't let Baylor interrupt Hanzo like on a first turn you just go fissure they can't go Baylor on your Hanzo um, it also it also st it also just you know screws over many other decks like Dark World. They would have to get rid of the Dimensional Fissure first in order to actually do anything. So I think Dimensional Fissure is good, and it doesn't interrupt anything with your deck because when you exceed the materials, go to the grave anyway. Um, two Duality is kind of self-explanatory. It's pretty much the only draw power that ninjas have. Uh, one Heavy Storm. One Dark Hole. One Allure. I put it there because I have a lot of darts, and yeah, it's just, yeah. Magic Planter, you run a lot of continuous traps in this deck, you really want that taken advantage of. Um, and Reinforcement of the Army, self-explanatory, go to all your warriors. Um, that's all for spells. Traps, I run three anti-spell, I know a lot of you will probably think this is too much, but I honestly think that if you really are focusing on the lockdown, you want the lockdown as many as much on your first turn as possible. So I run this guy at three, just because I want to get him on my first hand if I want to go for the lockdown. Um, deck Dev, this card is so good. It, it, with your Simorg, you always have like, you know, a 
dark in there to just tribute off and take advantage of it. Because Simor has baits out a lot of stuff, you might as well take advantage of that and just minus your opponent even more. I'm thinking of putting Eradicator too, but I'm still debating on it. Uh, Call of the Haunted, you know, for all those detached materials, take advantage of that. Two Ninja, two Auto Transformations, self-explanatory. You go with it for Han with Hanzo, you really can't miss it. Uh, Fiendish Chains, you know, you need all the monster negation you can get. And this came for the Dark Dimension. This card is really good. When you have Dimensional Fissure out and your Simorg gets destroyed, it gets removed from play, you basically go escape, you got your Simorg back, and your opponent basically just wasted a card. And Bottomless, another monster control card. Uh, yeah, basically, I like it. M many of you may probably noticed that I don't have back row destruction stuff uh, besides Heavy Storm. The reason is I really, really, really like the lockdown. And when I have the lockdown up, there's no point for an MST whatsoever. Like, I get it for a draw, I could get something even better with that. Uh, I would probably side all the back row destruction stuff, just in case, just, you know, roll your decrees and all that stuff. But yeah, now for the extra deck, we got a uh, Gen Knight Pearl, just a good 2600 beat stick. Utopia, self explanatory. Photon Papilla Imperative, you know, get over those all those defense. Maestro, really good. Abyss Dweller, he's an okay choice, but you know, he, he's like one of those exceed monsters I would take out for something more important. Because, I mean, it's good against Dark World, but I already got Dimensional Vision to deal with that. Um, Gaga got Cowboy, he's just a good finisher. Your opponent almost never expects him. Blade Armor, of course, at two. You can go for him so much, it's not even funny. Um, Escalibur at two, he's just a really, really good monster to have. 4,000 attack is never too shabby. Uh, Shockmaster, because you can actually go for him sometimes. Levier, um, with the poor guys, you know, wind up send mains, temp tempo, and Leviathan. Um, that's it for the deck list. I don't want to show the side deck because it's still in the making, but it will, it will basically consist of a bunch of back row destruction stuff if I have to side out the anti spells for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please, positive feedback, positive feedback that could help me, not just commenting, you know, oh, this is bad, oh, no, no, I, I really don't pay attention to that stuff anyway, so you're wasting your time, you're wasting my time. But yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe, rate, favorite, um, and peace out, thank you.